Welcome to PM Box, exploring the value of project management. I'm your host, Neil Stolovitsky. In today's podcast, I will be focusing on the growing popularity of agile methodology and its real impact on the discipline of project management. For those that are not aware, agile methodology has been around for over a decade, challenging traditional approaches to project management in the software development world. Really, my objective of today's talk is to engage you and provide you with insight on the basic questions around both the pros and the cons of Agile methodology. I hope you enjoy the show. So, Neil, before getting into the strengths and weaknesses of Agile methodology, can you provide us with a background on the origins of Agile methodology and its unique approach to managing project teams? Well, actually, Agile Methodology is a grassroots movement in which a group of software developers got together one day and they created a project management framework which was designed for them. It was more holistic, more democratic, and more inclusive in nature. So the idea behind Agile was really to have a solution where developers felt they were more involved in projects. In fact, Agile is really an umbrella term to refer to many different types of Agile methodologies in the marketplace. Some of the more popular ones you may have heard of, which include Scrum, Crystal Clear, and Extreme Programming. The idea behind Agile is really to instill equal accountability to everyone who touches the project and it's to ensure that there is a democratic collaboration among all stakeholders and a more hands-off approach to managing development teams. This means that everyone is responsible and are stakeholders in the final delivery of a product that comes out of a project delivered to a customer. In addition to that, the approach incorporates a more rapid delivery model, which means there's constant communication between developers and the customer, and ultimately the idea is to have a better product delivered to your customers and keeping them more satisfied and more involved in the development cycle. Thank you. And what would you say are the main reasons there has been an increased popularity in Agile development? There are a number of reasons. One of them that I think stands out is that customers today are increasingly seeking quick and affordable results and partially this has to do with their interaction with technology today. The internet is a good example where individuals could go online and get information instantaneously, get an update on delivery of their products or services and customers are expecting that service just like they're experiencing on a regular basis and I believe Agile methodology really plays into this new reality in which developers are constantly in interaction with their customers and providing quick deliverables and quick wins, really playing up to today's customer experience. The other thing is there has been a fundamental shift in how software development organizations view their people behind their projects. I think at one time the development community was treated more as workers under a hierarchical structure where companies employed more traditional project management methodologies like uh, like Waterfall for example. They were more linear and they really were very heavily product driven and left minimal room for real creativity or input from the development community. And in some cases, they even led to an assembly line mentality that would ultimately impact the quality of the delivery of those projects. And I believe in response to this, organizations are seeking more rewarding environments for developers so they could deliver a better product at the end of the day to their customers. So I really would say motivating developers probably plays the biggest factor in the shift. And what would you say is the biggest challenge organizations face when adopting Agile? In my opinion, the biggest challenge is really a cultural shift that needs to take place in organizations. Agile environments are self-governing, and in places where developers are used to being managed, this is a radically different approach to managing projects. The way they work, the way they interact with stakeholders and assume responsibilities is totally different. And in, in effect, project leaders need to develop a whole new set of skills around managing people and really motivating their teams so that they can still get the results they're used to getting. What you really need is buy-in to this approach by all team members. When you don't have that buy-in, agile development can actually be quite disastrous where accountability really will have no place. And last question, how has agile methodology impacted the way project managers view their role? 
For project managers, agile methodology has redefined the role of what it means to be a manager. Where in traditional project management, managers are very process driven, they're focused on the project, the task, and the deliverables at hand, they're focused on whether they're delivered on time, within budget, and according to specifications. That is the traditional way of doing project management today. With the agile movement, it really has force project leaders to look beyond the plan and focus more on the people delivering the project itself, the people executing on those deliverables. Whether an organization embraces Agile or not, that's something else. However, this new approach, I believe, has challenged traditional thinking by demonstrating that the value behind projects are the people and the way they interact with the project and ultimately impact the outcome of a project, whether it's successful or not. Thank you for joining us today, and we welcome any of your comments at pmbox.geniusinside.com. To learn more about Genius Inside, go to www.geniusinside.com. 